Hi my friends, Sherry here. I thought today maybe we could do some, well you could do this on uh, playing cards. I have some large playing cards. You can get these at dollar stores if you have dollar stores in your area. Um, you can get the really giant cards, then this size, and then your regular playing cards. You, so you could do them on cards for your journals or wherever you choose to use them. You can do, do them on um, um, well, stationery, I don't know, it's paper anyway. I buy it uh, online. It's your uh, card stock and your envelopes to go with it. These I think are about five by seven. Let me just check. Five, yep, five by seven. So yeah, you could do them on that. You could do them on paper, uh, sort of collage work. And I love Alice in Wonderland. So I thought I would do Alice in Wonderland. Well, so let's start with the greeting card. So here's my five by seven. I just use Elmer's glue. Although at times I find it's it's not sticking very well and I don't know if they changed their uh, their recipe or if it's just I need it stronger than if you have any suggestions for something that's not too liquidy not too fluid because what happens is you end up with bumps on the other side from the fluid I use aliens tacky glue for some things but not when I'm using cardstock so if you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment section what you use if you're using something other than Elmer's glue stick. So, um, we have papers that we can use for, these you can get online too at Amazon. This is one design and there's a couple different designs you can get. So. I've made some cards, just to give you an idea. That's one. Now this I didn't have enough paper for a full sheet, so I did sort of a collage. This is one leftover piece and this is another. Tea party. Would you like an adventure now, or shall we have our tea first? <laughs> and then, it's always tea time. So they make great cards. And then you put inside whatever you choose to put inside. I, uh, let me see, what have I got here? This one's Thinking of You. And I add a little something here. And I add a little something on the back of the envelope. So yeah, lots of fun to do. Doesn't necessarily take any artistic skill, except the ability to uh, see what proportions and what looks good together, things like that. Okay, so yeah, let's just get started. So we need a background for this one. Oh yeah, this uh, set of Alice in Wonderland comes with a little uh, a page with little images like this that you can cut out. So I spent yesterday cutting them out until my finger was <laughs> squished. <laughs> so yeah, little ones like that makes it good for a collage. So make sure I'm in a good place in the camera. And please remember, I love hearing from you. I, I'm I don't know if it's because I don't put my face on online in my videos that I'm not getting the same responses that I see other people get. Uh, maybe it's my personality. <laughs> I don't know. So we'd love to hear from you. Even, you know, if, and I also know that I have an older audience. Um, when I see the analytics from YouTube, it indicates that something like 70% of my viewers, my subscribers, are over 65. So, I don't know how that happens. I mean, that's fine with me. I'm, I'll am i be 70 next month. 
Um, and the rest are just about all of them are between usually 40 and 50, I think. Anyway, maybe that's just the nature of the beast. Maybe it's those of us that are doing mixed media and collage work and journaling, things like that, are, uh, are that age. I mean, it could be. So, curious. Curiouser and curiouser. So, yeah, I wonder uh, how old you folks are. <laughs> I know some people, I don't understand. Some people are funny about uh, saying their age. I'm, I'm proud of my age. I'm proud I made it this far. Okay. I'm just trying out some, I'm auditioning, as they say, some papers to uh, for this card. I love this. And I'm wondering if I have a piece of paper that I don't like to have too many chopped up backgrounds. I have this. That could work. Then I need another one that could go down here. And then put something here. That's a possibility. See, now that would work. Oh, I do have one piece up here. Maybe I'll just use that since I do have it. And something like this on the side, I think. Now, since this is a pretty, it's not busy, but it has a focal point. I don't want to add too much more. Maybe something like Eat Me or We are all mad here. That would work. See, that's simple, but it works. We are all mad here with the teacup. That would do. So let's put our background down first. Depending on our time, we could get a couple done today. This is double, I hate double-sided <laughs> scrapbooking books. I can never decide which side to use. And if I do, it breaks my heart not to be able to use the other side. You know what I mean. I don't think I'm the only one that feels that way. I would much prefer a few more sheets and it be single sheets. I just feel like I'm wasting papers um, if it's double-sided. Obviously, unless you're doing something magical in your journal, you're uh, kind of wasting one side. So, yeah, I don't know. If, I can't be alone in that thought. Okay. Now I have to stand up for this. Simply because I tend to get things on crooked. Use my gift card. This really helps your uh, image to adhere to your paper. Okay, there's our start. I think we decided on this. Which do I like better? I think I like this side better simply because it feels more like a bit of a border. So I'm going to put on Now obviously I cut out that uh, background page to fit my card. Well, it's a little bit short there, but I think it's okay because this is coming down. So I think we're okay. Hmm. 
Well, it's kind of a rainy day. It's supposed to clear up today. The ground is wet now. It's been raining overnight. What did we decide? We we're all mad here. I think that was it. Uh, do we need a cup of tea? Cup of cuppa? Yeah, I think we do. And there you have it, just like whoops, just like that. You have a greeting card. Now what you can do, I like taking my Stabilo, which is an oil-based pencil, and just uh, finish off the sides. The edges, I should cut that first so I know where I'm, where I'm going. Yeah, going to be 70. That amazes me. I feel blessed for having made it this far. Seventy and I think I stopped maturing around thirty. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I don't feel I think you only mature to a certain degree and then you just age. <laughs> now I'm just aging. Okay. We just wet our pencil lines to smudge it. It just gives it a little more depth, a little more interest. Okay. Now, the inside here, thinking of you, I printed this out with Canva, C-A-N-V-A. And it's an application um, that you can do thumbnails, you can do documents, logos, uh, you can print out text, like I've done here. So now I'm going to add something in the inside here. Let me see. Rabbit, and we are all mad here. What will I add on the inside? Nothing too big. I don't want to take away too much of the writing space. I mean, I've already written already some pretty big words here. I can put this. Let's see what else I have here. little teacup. It's a little too small. Uh, I could put this king. Uh, that works. Let's just stick with eat me. Now for this, there's several sizes you can get of these packages, scrapbooking books. Um, there's 12 by 12 and there's 6 by 6. Now the 12 by 12 I've ordered a couple of times and you don't get these little cutouts the same as you do on the 6 by 6. And most of the 6 by 6 is going to fit for my use for the making cards or the making greedy cards or doing journal cards. So I ordered the 6x6, six six, just, just so you know. 
Okay, now we want a little uh, something on the back of our envelope. We could put Wonderland there. Everybody, every adventure requires a first step. Let me see, what have we got here? I think we need something different. We have a couple that are somewhat similar. Similar, similar. Almost the same shows. Almost the same thing. Okay, what have I got here? I don't know. I may not. I've used so many of them now. I may not have much of a choice. Curiouser and curiouser. Oh, let's go with every adventure. It requires a first step. to that. So you can get easily get, I'd say, 10 greeting cards or probably at least 12 um, journal cards of the larger ones. So here, here we have it. Easy. Breezy, cover girl. <laughs> okay, that's a card. Uh, let's try a journal card. Let's take our one of our cards here. Now, what you might want to do, and what I think I will do, is. Take a piece of sandpaper and sand this up a little bit because it's such a smooth, glossy finish that it uh, makes it a little bit hard for the glue to stick. So this helps. This roughens up the surface. Okay, that should work. All right, now what will we do here? There's some paper here. Well, I don't want to lose the cat. She's looking up to the cat, so I won't use that. Um, we could just put down a background like this and then do it. Come saw. Or no. Or no. <laughs> or not. Okay, let's see what we have here. That could work. Now we need something for here. Let's, let's use that. So I hope you folks are all doing well. Also noticed in my analytics that uh, about seventy percent of my subscribers are from the U.S. Well, that didn't shock me. I was a little surprised I didn't have more Canadian viewers or people from. For me, it was U.S., Canada, U.K., and then you know, the odd country here and there. So, it's 
something up here. A little too short. Hmm. My oh my. My oh my. Why so difficult? There we go. Although, I'm going to uh, be a little wild here and put this at the top. Okay, let's just lay down our background and then we can decide what we're doing after that. This on the top. So I just uh, got added to the partner program, which means that my channel will now be monetized after three years. <laughs> I could have done it faster had I been more diligent about doing videos, but you know, say la vie. <laughs> that wasn't my purpose. When I started, it was just after I retired trying to keep myself busy, um, stave off boredom. I don't know what other people do, you know, that don't have hobbies. It would drive me crazy being retired and either not volunteering or having a hobby. I don't know how people manage. I, uh, I love the fact that I found art and crafts just before I retired. Okay. I probably spend... Probably a good 20 hours a week in my in this room okay how are we doing we decided on this here didn't we gluing over here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, today would be a good day to do that. <laughs> Almost hitting 3,000. So getting there. I'm friendly with another YouTuber who does mixed media. And she had one of her um, videos on her channel take off a few months ago. And she just, you know, hit the moon. It was amazing how much that video, how much of a difference it made up to her on her channel. I think she went from, uh, I couldn't say how many she had to start with, but she gained probably, you know, eight or nine thousand subscribers just like that from the one video or I mean not to take away from her hard work because she was a hard worker but that sure gave her a boost we could put that here I can't remember what I was going to put there <laughs> this is what happens when you get my age um, 
What was it? I mean, that'll do. And we could put, yeah, I kind of like that, you know. And then we could put something down here like this. That works. That would be it. Wouldn't that make a nice journal card? Or you could have made that, I could have made that a little bit bigger and done another greeting card. So that works. Um, yeah, or we could, let me see what else we could have done. There's a, I think I was looking at that at one point. That's pretty. Uh, could have put Alice on here. Like that. Add some words. All kinds of combinations you can do. And it says curiouser and curiouser. So you could reiterate that with curiouser and curiouser. All kinds of things. Yeah, I hope that gives you some ideas. Like I said, works really well for cards, for journal cards, any size journal cards, for tags. And just so you know, Alice in Wonderland, there's, it's in the public domain, which means there's no copyright on it. So, you don't have to worry about using uh, copywritten materials, because it's not. So, feel free. What you can also do is mix it up a little bit. I have another one here ready to go. This one says, thinking of you also. Maybe I'll get one that... One that says, happy birthday. Yeah, check out the Canva, C-A-N-V-A. You'd be amazed at how much you could use that for... Uh, for your work and it's free you can buy a premium app but the free one works really well for me see now this is from another book of scrap paper and i could use that for my background should i choose and then just add from there i'm not sure about this color scheme i could do it sideways all kinds of ideas. Or you could do just do a collage of different uh, papers. I'm sure you all have lots of papers out there. So I'm going to dig around and we can come back and do a card just using a collage from various papers. Okay, so we're back. Um, I pulled out some papers from my one of my three bags of goodies. We have another five by seven card here, and I thought I would use some of my own collage paper that I designed with my jelly plate. And yeah, I have some videos in my playlist. If you look at my list of videos, you'll find a couple that show me doing a designing papers. So I'm just going to play around here for a bit and see what I'm going to uh, do for my collage. I love collaging. I mean, there's no right or wrong, so it makes it good for me. <laughs> good for those of us that worry about doing things wrong. It's all kinds of combinations here. 
Yeah, a little bit too much of a good thing. That could work. Let's see. I also have these images. I don't know if they came from New Zealand or China. Um, I just remember they took quite a long time to come. And as I've mentioned before, I, uh, I like this. I don't know what I'm going to put here though. I love this flower. Um, I ordered a lot from Amazon. I would love to be able to uh, buy from a Canadian company, but we're, our options are pretty limited here in Canada. This is paper I made. I have here. It's my Japanese symbols, Japanese writing. I have no idea what I was doing here. I was just designing. So any of you from Japan out there, please forgive me because I don't know how to write Japanese and I was just uh, enthralled with the design. So uh, well, that kind of works. Yep, that works for me. Now, I don't like these straight lines, so I am going to tear, tearing toward me so I don't have that white line, you know, that white edge you get if you rip the other way. going to do it like that I think I want this on the top I think it's a matter of trying to decide which tones go together um, you don't have to be color coordinated I mean it's even more interesting when you uh, walk away from rules <laughs> I walk away from rules half the time it's because I don't know what the rules are. <laughs> Often there are no rules, so I just go my merry way. When you get to be my age, you don't care about rules quite so much. I mean, I don't go around breaking the law, but <laughs> I don't worry about rules quite like I used to. Okay, where's my trusty little gift card? And this is a happy birthday card too, by the way. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe I've been doing this three years now. It took me three years to get to 3,000 subscribers. That seems incredibly long to me. I would have got there faster, I'm sure, had I been more diligent about doing videos, but I'm retired, so I don't want to feel like I have to do anything. That sounds quite self-indulgent, but, you know, after working 45 years and following other people's rules and doing what I'm supposed to do. Um, it's just nice to be able to sort of make up my own rules. 
Uh, how do I want this? Do I want it up that high? Maybe I'll check out some of these first and that will help me decide. That sort of works. Smaller one here. And that's a little too strong, I think, for what we have happening here. Need something softer. Image Amadeo Modigliani. Modigliani. I love his work. Love his work. Like this. If you can see this. This is uh, Modigliani. And this. And I just applied that to a cradle board. A nice piece of cradle board. Finished it off with some um, gloss medium. And his stuff is not copywritten too, so it's in the public domain. Okay, let's put this down. So, yeah. I hope with all my chattering you pick up some ideas and, you know, maybe even some information that you didn't have before. Okay. Yep. I need to bring it down a little bit. That's it. Okay, what are we going to do for another Modigliani? He was an Italian painter, became famous, of course, after he passed away. I have a nice, this would work. She's nice and gentle. And I wonder, is that too much? Let me trim my edges here and give me a better idea. So yeah, he, uh, he passed on in the early 1900s. I think he lived in France when he passed on. But most of his work is a little bit of landscapes, a few nudes, a lot of uh, women with long necks and hats. I just love this stuff. Okay, what do we got here? What do we got? <laughs> what do we have here? <laughs> what do we got? I kind of like that, just like that. I don't know that it needs anything more. I'm afraid if I put more on there, it'll get too busy. Yeah, I think I like it just like that. Just three pieces. Works. I could come in with my Stabilo. I think I will. So there we have it. Alice in Wonderland. Journal card. Greeting card. Now these can be used, I do uh, fridge magnets too. These can be used, this technique, this collaging, can be used on, like I said, journal cards, tags, greeting cards, fridge magnets, all kinds of places. Just wet that to activate the oil pencil. These you can get online too.
would love a thumbs up if you're still with me. You've, I think you've gotten something out of this. <laughs> I'd love a thumb, I would really love to hear a comment. Just let me know what kind of glues you're using that you find the most effective. See, this is lifting here. And I'd love to know, do I really have that an old, older crowd? Not an old. <laughs> Most of you are younger than I am. Okay, it says happy birthday. And there you have it. Just simple, pretty. I don't think I need anything more. I mean, I could if I wanted to. Add something like that. With just a piece of it. That's kind of, let me see. <laughs> uh, no. No, as I said, it's just, I don't want it to be too busy. Okay, what else have I got here? I think we're all right. No, I think we're all right, just with the three pieces. That works for me. So, and of course, you can do something in the back of your envelope if you choose. I don't know what I would add here. Um, I had a piece of, okay, I have this. Just to get really funky. Sure, why not? Being the wild woman that I am. <laughs> there we go. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, folks. That was fun. It was fun to do. To me, that's pretty. So, yeah, would love a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Would love to hear from you. Um, for me, that's when I don't hear from anybody, it just feels like people aren't interested or I just don't engage people like others do. So you're breaking my heart. <laughs> okay, I'm going to let you go. You folks take care. See you on the next one.